Hello all, today's video is Bicep with a review on Beyond NRG. It's the strawberry, watermelon and lime flavour. With JRE Podcasts, talk about Max Holloway, Alfred the Great, the man who made England, continue on that review and channel ideas. Beyond strawberry, watermelon and lime. Now I'm not going to lie to you. If I put too much water in this. No. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I've tried this before. I actually can't remember it. I think there were five of these pouches or four. I can't remember. I've only got two left, including this one, so one left. So, the smell after the first one was all right. I can really smell this, it smells nice. It still smells artificial. I don't know what, what, <laughs> what I'm thinking I'm gonna get. For a powder. Still in day. Yeah, that just smells a little bit like strawberry, but then plastic, I mean. Every review I've seen of NRG, they're like, wow, this smells amazing. There's something wrong with me. Now, this time round, I have a glass, so I don't have to like, shake on the screen. Try not to spill it. So I have two other packets to go through, one of them being honeydew melon, grape and raspberry, and then the other being blue raspberry and lemonade. I actually don't have wild forest fruits, which I'm looking on the website now. I don't know if they have released that. The one thing I would say that is quite annoying is the build your own box. You can only have four, even though they have five flavors. Why not just make it that you pick four between the five to have it all the five flavors? Doesn't really make sense to me. Uh, it's, it's kind of annoying not to try it all. But I also am looking at buying the Vortex Shaker, the black one. Um, at the moment, I don't think I would actually ever buy a tub from Beyond. It's still got like this earthy smell to it, I think, I think what I can say. Yeah. Let's water it down a bit, I think I put too much water in there. Once again, no, no, no goop. I'm a goop man, you see. <laughs> I make goop. <laughs> the South Park reference. Um, also, taking my creatine, three of these before workout, three of these afterwards. I would not recommend taking tablets. They do make me feel ill, um, but also I don't think these have much effect on me. I think it's powder. If you're gonna take creatine, take powder form. You just add it to your protein shake. You're not even gonna taste it, especially if you uh, have a protein shake and put frozen fruit, which I recommend doing. It tastes a lot better. Just get a natural flavored protein shake and put your cream, you won't even taste it. But yeah, this, it was a Holland and Barrett for like, buy one, get one for a penny. It's not bad. But I feel so bad giving these reviews because it's just not, I don't particularly like these type of drinks, these, these powders, I haven't found anything that I've gone, oh my God. Like a monster Red Bull, I'm like, I'm like, give it to me every single day of the week. Just give it to me. Let monster play to the end of the season. Like just give it to me. Like I can't, That, that's not good. It's got like a sour out aftertaste. That's just not. What it tastes like in the original taste is that it just tastes cold. <laughs> and then it just tastes like a sour aftertaste afterwards. Um, maybe I put too much water in it. I don't think so. Um, the actual texture of my mouth is fine. But like I said, there's no, there's no goop in it. But I am the goop man. You see, I make goop. It's not, it's okay, it is refreshing. Okay, I give them that, that's what I wanted, it's refreshing, but it doesn't taste like, I, I, I can't remember what it is. I know it's strawberry, lime, and there's a third flavor that I have no clue. Watermelon and lime. I don't taste the watermelon. 
the beginning taste is lime, and then a, faintly a little bit of strawberry. Yeah, I'm sorry, Beyond. I, I want to like your company. I think you have a good interest, like certain other companies. Um, but so far, the blood orange, pineapple, and mango, and then this strawberry, watermelon, and lime have not been good. Now, I do like, I think, the two others that I'll review um, later on this week, maybe tomorrow and, and Thursday. I, I think I have a sneak delivery coming today. But, um, yeah, tell me your thoughts down below. What, what do you think of uh, Beyond? What's your favourite uh, powder energy drink, pre-workout, gaming juice, the goop man? Uh, yeah. Okay, the more and more I drink the energy drink here, <laughs> it's actually really nice. Um, I, I still don't taste, I can't remember what's in it, is it strawberry? I still don't taste really the watermelon and lime, it's more now strawberry. Um, why? I, hold on there. And it is, it's, I don't know what it is. I, I don't think I taste any of the flavors. It is a nice refreshing play, flavor. I think I have to let it settle down because when I first shaked it up, it did not taste good. Now it tastes a lot better, like a drinkable. I, I could drink that, that's, that's cool. That is a nice flavor. So I was wrong in my initial, well, actually I wasn't wrong. The initial reaction was that it tastes horrible. Letting it, boy, oh my God, boy. Letting it um, settle down it tastes a lot better um so i would recommend this one if you do like sh this type of flavor i can't personally taste separate flavors there's like a texture there that that has that summer fruit flavor but i can't taste anything really i don't have covid <laughs> don't, don't, imagine if i did this is how i found out during this review i don't have covid i can still taste food i hope i'll, I'll go and taste something i can taste something but i, I don't have covid okay <laughs> so the goop man has been in my uh my drink as you can see let's just have a, have a little gander. Woo! It's brown. That's a goop. It's like sand in there. Oh, I'm trying to. Yeah, that's goop right there. Not the worst. Not the worst, but like, you can still tell. So yeah. So I haven't watched all the podcasts, I will be continuing this uh, in tomorrow, but what was very interesting was the fact that in Texas, how crazy everyone went. I know there was a massive weather change, but people were rationing. It was like it was World War II. It, it was just crazy, like ice had started right and they just did not know what to do. Uh, another thing that was interesting they talked about, what Joe Rogan mentioned, was paspermia, and, and that could be from like interstellar between star systems or from planets. In the star system that transports mechanisms that include uh, comets and that transfers non-living materials across um, that is actually very well documented um, and it is, is a massive theory to how life was started and all that stuff oh my god look at my belly <laughs> oh, that's called kebabs and fried chicken there ladies and gentlemen I mean if we take my belly upwards I've, I'm fine but that's not a flat angle but then again I'm, I'm literally leaning back on a chair all my fat is going to be back so well, well fuck, fuck you you know fuck you you're not working out shut the fuck up I don't know why I said that to myself but if you're thinking that you shut the fuck up I'm insecure leave me alone
So this is my diet so far. I don't actually normally have halloumi, but that's the big piece of halloumi with two pieces of bacon and black pudding to make it 527 calories. I also have a banana. And then for lunch it is a whey protein shake with some of fruits. Then British chicken, uh, fill it with longer rice. In general, I don't have that much rice too. It's just I need to eat it. And then the apple, it comes to about 1500 calories or just about 1600 calories just below that. So about a century after Alfred died, a random monk wrote a life story of Saint Neot. So it was possibly a made up story of Alfred, but it was about him burning uh, bread while he was on the run. And he was getting told off by the people who let him into his house. Uh, they apparently didn't know who he was either. Apparently that's a massive thing with Alfred the Great. I actually had no clue and apparently a lot of people knew him from that and not actually being the uh, pretty much the founder or laying down the fundamentals of England, probably being one of, if not the most important king for England. Uh, but he's also only English king to have great as a title and there's only two Saxon kings, including himself, that have writing about them. He's also the earliest Saxon king to record his life and the only English king to have written anything before James I and obviously he saved Wessex and England. So for the uh, channel updates, I'm going to keep Monday to Wednesday the same, which is energy drink review mainly and then the jre podcast and then uh, talk about book or audible and of course i could talk also about the gym and my goals in the gym it's um the only downfall would be getting to the end of any drinks but i'm I, I assure you that will be a very very long time away and then Thursday, I actually want to talk about the ufc i don't know do i want to do five days a week of talking about energy drinks because then that will and very quickly this can just prolong it and also bring in other stuff to the channel and then friday we'll be talking about football mainly arsenal because i'm an arsenal fan so it'll be more uh, direct in that conversation and then saturday will be a gaming video also we'll be using energy drinks such as like beyond to actually look if it enhances my gaming ability i of course have used energy drinks to see if it does um but this time I can actually express myself to see what it feels like and how it feels like. And also, I'll probably do a video just on coffee itself. Um, so yeah, the cha channel itself is mainly about me lifting weights, of course, with a different element to it. I don't see anyone else doing this where they're lifting weights and actually talking about other interests. Uh, letting the video of me lifting talk for itself while reviewing and talking about other interests. I just think it's good to, good to get a wide variation and hopefully just be able to build a community of different people if it's just lifting weights to people maybe i'm reading the book and they they like to uh they like to talk about the book or interest in the book or the jre podcast or even energy drinks there's a lot of things and um, the monday the wednesday video i am hammering down the energy drinks over anything but hopefully i can bring a lot more people to the channel and to the discord and whatnot <music>